This isn't the first time that uh, Dangerous Liaisons has been put on screen, but uh, this prequel has a unique vibe. In your opinion, what are the best things about this series? Uh, yeah, it is a prequel. Um, and I think what I love the most about this series is we were saying it has such a youthful energy and it's like really fun. And, you know, there's a lot of topics and um, parts that are explored that are quite heavy and serious. But within that, I think Carice, Camille, I mean, sorry, Alice, uh, Nicholas, everyone just has a very fun energy into it and a lot of humor, which is really, yeah, nice. And there's so much uh, talent that you've not seen before uh, that is really refreshing, I think. Mm. There's there's so much talent out there. And, and um, yeah, I think it really, if you have a sense of humor as well, you're gonna really dig this. I, 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 I yeah, I was I was just watching, re-watching something and I was like, oh, oh this is so great. And I'm, <laughs> I'm part of this. It's, it's, it's a really cool show. Be serious teaches us that there is a thin line between love and war. What do you think about this idea? Um, I think that's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a hard one. Because <laughs> real love, of course, is not, there's, it's not close to war. I think what people project on love is very close to war. Uh, because it, love comes with so many, con you know, personal conditions that sometimes you're not even aware of. So I, I, yeah, I'm going a bit sort of um, philosophical. philosophical about this, but um, yeah, I think it's it's hard to find true love. So I think love that most people are talking about, yes, that could very be, well be close to war. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've never been in love, so <laughs> I can't, can't, no, I don't think so. My mom, does that count? But <laughs> uh, no romantic love for me, but um, I think surely if you love someone, there's an element of war because like you're in war with yourself, if that makes sense. I feel like being vulnerable with someone else is yeah, such a such a thing, but I don't know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. <laughs> what research did you do for your roles? How did you travel back in time to France on the eve of revolution? I have this machine and I just push a button. <laughs> yeah. and like it. this one. It works every time. Yeah, exactly. Back to the future. Medieval Bingo. times. <laughs> 1700s. Just chilling. Um, no, what? Um, How did you I, prepare? I mean, when I got the job, I did the like serious actor thing and I ordered the book and, you know, downloaded the movie and all of the good stuff. But then <laughs> I actually didn't read the book or watch the movie because um, I thought, let me not do that and just try bring like my instincts to it and just see what what works and what doesn't because if I watch it I feel like I just start impersonating it and not trusting myself or the process so I just thought let me just go with the vibe so that's what I done and I hope it worked what did you do I sort of did the same in fact I, I of course I knew the the film I didn't know the book I didn't re read the book mm -hmm. but I I also didn't want to watch rewatch the film again because I thought this there's a reason that they want to do this it's not you know the, not to remake mm. the film so we want to bring something different and mm. um and yes i would re really love to sort of reinvent this character that sort of is based on one of the characters in the in the book um so and i really like that approach as well like same with game of thrones i just felt like i don't want to read the book the, mm. the series is something else than something that's on paper so it's a different Art, art, art form. form. So, um, yeah, I think we sort of did the same thing. When it comes to your characters, Victoire and Jacqueline de Montrachet, are there similarities between you and your characters? And what are the differences? Mm. Mm. Um, I think the similarity is we're both very interlinked with Camille's life, in a way. Um, and with Jacqueline, and Victoire, it always feels like there's such a distance. And even whilst filming it as an actor, I was always like, I felt like I could never reach her, but that works for the character because I, I felt like I knew so much about Jacqueline, but also nothing about her. It was, yeah, it was a really weird experience. I think you mm. will understand it when you watch the show, but I think they're both, I think they're both quite brave. 
I think Jacqueline is very brave in the world that she's in um, and the risks that she takes and her husband and all of that stuff. I think there's a certainly a bravery and sincerity to her, even though she takes different forms throughout the series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I also think that, you know, in the end, the common, how do you say the nominator? The nominator. The nominator. The nominator. Yeah. If you work, if you know that, then we're all <laughs> we're all connected. So yeah, you know, they're, they're, at first I think yes, they're very very different, but but of course there is so much similarities in women in general. Mm -hmm. But but uh, as human beings, I think we are so way more connected than we think. And of course, from the outside, that looks much different. But I, um, it's also a nice thing to sort of. Um, experience when you're watching it i think mm. to sort of see how how that we're how we are connected and how these characters are in fact what's your best memory of your time on set <laughs> so many huh? nine months of memories yeah. um damn oh i think for me it was the dance breaks that me and alice took between like shots after a scene we just start dancing really and bouncing on the bed and that was great because we're wearing <laughs> dresses and corsets but we're trying to bounce on a bed so that was lovely <laughs> um i guess for me it was to be around in general to be around so many young people because i first for the first time i sort of was the oldest most of the time <laughs> um so that was a real experience also in my in the midlife that i'm in um and it really gave me a lot of joy and a lot of a, a fresh look uh, at, at this profession and also um, yeah it, we're so um, lucky and also to shoot in, in Prague in summer I mean I was there mostly in summer um, there, there, yeah, yeah. there's so many it was it was a, it was a beautiful time 